Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merritt, and today we're going to do module 2, lesson 10. It is our last lesson about shapes together, but can I tell you, I am so excited. I love all our lessons together, but I could not wait to teach you this lesson. You are going to need something to write with and something to write on. I think you will be so happy when you hear what we're doing. So go ahead, grab those things, and we'll talk about our objective, and we will get started. Okay, I am so glad you're back. Our objective is I can create a display with flat shapes. So I was kind of thinking we could do some drawing with shapes. What we're going to do is we're going to draw three or four animals together, and then Oh my goodness, you're going to make an animal, take a picture of it, and send it to me. Because those 3D shaped scavenger hunts were out of this world. So I cannot wait to see your artwork. I'm going to get my on paper and my marker ready, and we can get started. Okay. So. I am not much of an artist, but I'm building my confidence. So we're going to try this together. First, I want you to draw a circle. I remember a circle goes around and around. Then I want you to draw two little triangles. Remember those, those three sides? Two, three. Then we need some circles for the eyes. Does anyone think they know what this may be? Those are all some really good guesses. We will see. Triangle for the nose. And then we're going to do some straight lines, not curvy. Straight lines. I'm going to do three on each side of the nose. Can you hold your um, animal up to the screen? I want to see if we have something that looks similar. Yours looks so good. Let's keep going. Now we're going to draw an oval. Remember that's that circle, but it's kind of squished? Watch. Push down circle. And then we need four feet. So I'm going to draw four. Let's do squares. The squares have four equal sides. One, two, three, four. And then we'll just draw a curved line. Or a tail. That's pretty cute. That's a pretty cute cat. <laughs> Yours look so great. Let's go on to our next animal. Okay. So, wait. Let's look back at our cat. What did we end up using? I'm sorry. We used a what? What goes around and around? A circle. We used a, it has three sides. One, two, three. A triangle. Are these lines straight or curvy? They are straight. What about this one? A little curvy. What shape's down here? It's got four equal sides. Very good. A square. Okay, now we can go on. Okay, so for the animal I'm thinking about next, I want to do a squish down circle or an oval. Instead of going horizontally, I want to go vertically with my oval. So watch. Here's 
Now I need four circles. One, two, three, four. So we have an oval and some circles. Then I need two straight lines up. Two more circles that go around and around. What did we draw this time? A butterfly! You'll have time to color these in afterward. Okay? We're going to do one more animal, okay? All right, so this one I've never drawn before, so we're going to experience this together, okay? So, start with a circle again. And then we need two circles attached for the eyes. Now, we need two rectangles. So rectangles have two long sides and two short sides. They're going to be the ears. But inside the rectangles we need little squares. Remember a square has four equal sides. And draw a triangle nose. And then we need a big body, a big circle. Okay. We just need a little tail. It's just another circle, but I'm going to color mine in. You can color yours too. And then four feet. So these feet, let's make them rectangles. So two long sides and two short sides. <laughs> it's supposed to be a bear. <laughs> I had so much fun drawing with you. And what I loved the most is that as we went along, we were able to name all the 2D shapes we've learned. Squares, like a square with our hands, which have four sides that are all equal. We talked about rectangles, which are two long sides and two short sides. We talked about... What's the shape? A circle and it has no sides. Then we talked about a squished down circle, which is a oval. We drew some straight lines and some curvy lines. We did a lot of different things with 2D shapes and created some beautiful pictures. We made a cat, a butterfly, and a bear. So, your challenge today is there is an exit ticket, but what I want you to do is at the bottom of that year exit ticket, just like there was a question about the scavenger hunt, I want you for today's exit ticket, I want you to take a picture of your drawing with all your shapes. Now, you can draw anything. I know we just drew animals, but you can draw anything you want as long as it has a bunch of different shapes in it. I have had so much fun teaching you about 2D and 3D shapes, and I cannot wait to continue our math modules together. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time for module three.